Welcome back everybody. Tonight's lesson we're going to talk about our fillet command again as we did the other night. Uh, this time there's going to be one of them that's a little bit counterintuitive. That's going to be this one in this little area right here. Uh, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about a little bit later in, in the model itself. We are also going to create our first drawing as well. Uh, it's going to be associated to the model. If you've noticed I've made our dimensions a little bit larger just so uh, visualization purposes don't really do this in your model itself that's kind of a no-no and we'll discuss that in, in later assignments uh, we're going to move a little faster tonight than we have been uh, so let's go ahead and get started with our model so we all know how to create a new one so file new and we'll make sure we're in a part we're also still in inches um, we want to create an extrusion and in this case i looked at our uh, drawing and i believe that the top plane is going to be our for our best selection so when I come down and take a look, I know that our width of this part is going to be 2 inches. Our uh, length of it is going to be 1.75 and the overall height of our part is going to be 1.5. So as we've selected the top plane, we want to come up and our primary shape was a rectangle. So in this case, I want to use a center rectangle. I select it, move my mouse pointer out. That is the correct icon that I want. Come to the point of origin. One mouse click, hold my left mouse down, release, and I'm now out of uh, that sketch command. Well, not out of the sketch command, but I can move on to the next thing. So I want to select a smart dimension, and I want to select a smart dimension. Come grab the bottom line, and it was two. I'm still in this uh, dimensioning command because I can tell by my mouse pointer. I select the left vertical line, and it is 1.75. Right, with that being said, I click out in the model space and I notice that over here we are fully defined so we're ready to move forward to extruding some material. So I exit the sketch. When I exit the sketch, it's asking me how big do I want to make this particular part and in this case it was 1.5 tall. So 1.5, enter. I roll my mouse wheel a little bit just where I can see what's going on. I'm happy with what we have here so I accept this. All right, all shapes are primarily uh, rectangular. Um, there's a cut right here. It's going to be this selection right here. Um, as I noticed, we've got a half inch from the left hand side, and we also have a three eighths from this top right hand side. So we're going to make this cut with another simple rectangle. Uh, so now we've got more options available to us. We select extrude a cut. Notice it's asking what face or plane we want to use. Uh, in this case, we're going to want to use the top plane. Whenever you're in doubt, look over here to the left. It'll usually give you a hint. So I pick this top surface. The uh, model orients normal to us. Uh, in this case, I don't really want a center rectangle, but I'd like to use a corner rectangle. So I'm going to select it. Mouse pointer shows me that I have a two-point corner rectangle. I'm going to come down and tickle where these both of these lines meet. And in this vertex, one mouse click, pull it down, a second mouse click I mean just release your mouse and now we get to dimension it uh, memory serves me well we want to use a smart dimension I move my mouse pointer out we do have smart dimension selected I want to pick this left vertical line this is a three click command okay so I want to click this vertical line one click second click on this left most edge now I move my mouse pointer I can put it anywhere that I want but I'm going to pull it off of my model where I can really see what's going on and a third mouse click which will allow me to put that dimension in and it is 0.5. Uh, we also know that notice that this line is still blue so we know that we still have some type of constraint that we have to put on here and we can do that with another dimension so this is also a three mouse click selection so I'm gonna grab this horizontal line one mouse click pull my pointer up to the top edge second mouse click and I move my dimension off of the model somewhere where I can see it a little more clearly. I place it down with a third mouse click and that is 0.38. We, I click out in the modeling space somewhere. Dimensions are fully black. I notice down here at the bottom right hand corner that we are fully defined and we can now exit our sketch and we should still be in the uh, extruded cut command but I can't really see how what it's what's going on so I'm going to take my middle scroll wheel press down and I'm going to move my, I'm going to take my middle scroll wheel press 
there we go take my middle scroll wheel press down and rotate it around to where I can kind of see what what we have going on uh, I noticed that the uh, the depth of this is from here to here um, this dimension is 1.5 and this dimension is 0.5 so that leaves us with one inch remaining that we're going to remove material so with that being said we extruded it one inch so the 1.5 was still in the cache um, we highlight it and one and that looks like what we want so I'm going to accept this command I'm going to do a shortcut command of a control 7 so that's going to put us in the isometric view so I'm looking at my I'm looking at my model as I look at the model I have this now removed so the next thing that I want is to remove this now it's kind of counterintuitive when you look at this particular radius um, but we're going to do it with a simple rectangle so let's come up with an extruded cut it's asking what face or plane I'm going to want this this face here so I'm also going to want a corner rectangle again so I pick the corner rectangle move my mouse pointer out that is what I have I come back down to the bottom right vertex one mouse click hold on release the mouse and now we're able to select a smart dimension um, with that being said our dimensions on placing this and constraining it was from the top edge to here to this line was one inch so one mouse click on this horizontal line top horizontal edge second mouse click move my mouse pointer out place it and that was one um, so we also have a dimension from the left hand side to this line so we want one mouse click second mouse click pull it down 1.25 I'm going to click out in the paper space dimensions are black sketch is black come down to the bottom right we're fully defined we're now confident that we can move forward with uh, a cut so I'm exiting the sketch uh, is going to be this profile as you notice that it's turned yellow in this case I want to let the computer do the uh, thinking for us and put a little logic into this so I drop our Chevron down and I want to select through all because I really don't want to have to think about it again and we hit the green check for we now have that cut away so control 7 will put us back into isometric view as we're looking at our drawing we have a fillet command here as we did in our last model and we also have a fillet command here now these two fillet commands or this fillet command and this fillet command they are actually going to remove material but this fillet command will actually add material in what we're about to do so now we're back in the model we want to come back up to uh, this little feature so a fillet I want to put in the size before I begin so that was 0.38 um, I want to make sure that I have full preview set where I can actually see what's going on this if you don't have it selected just go ahead and fill in the bullet and I want to pick this top left edge top right and now this is where it um it changes a little bit watch what happens when I pick this edge down here in the very lower section of our part I pick it and it's actually going to add a little bit of material I hit my green selection and we are now complete with our model uh, one thing that we want to do is we want to add some material to this uh, so up here in our feature manager tree if you notice it says material not selected I'm going to come over to our tree and I want to in this selection we need to do a right click button instead of a left click button uh, this is one of the few commands that that usually takes a right click so right click edit material my steel commands are usually open um, I want to select AISI 1020 apply and then close notice our uh, our color change but that usually will tell us it'll give us an indication that we've actually added some material properties to it uh, we can come up here and check with the evaluate mass properties and we've got the density the mass the volume and the surface area that's what principally we're going to use in this in this program all right so now with that we need to make sure that we've saved it so make sure you save it in the proper format I'm just going to call mine one 
and we want to create a drawing from this particular part. Uh, we want to make sure that we keep the part, our drawing, our model file, and our drawing file linked. Uh, a couple ways about going to do this. In this case, what I want to do is I want to come up here to the very top uh, where it says File, select it one time. And about the fourth, about the fourth one down, uh, make drawing from part. Go ahead and select that, and it is going to say drawing, and that's going to go and grab a drawing template. So we want to select OK. Now, in this case, I want to I want to be landscape, um, but right now we don't want to talk about the title block. So I'm going to uncheck display sheet format. So this should allow me to have just a blank sheet out here. So I'm going to say OK. And now over here in this right hand section, we have our views that are available to us. Uh, remember, as we talked about before, how the views are actually laid out. I'm just we could do it. We could do something a little different. But in this case, I want to pick in place. So I want to come grab the front view. I'm going to click it, hold down, move my mouse pointer to kind of the bottom left hand area of my page and release it with my mouse. Now I don't want to hit escape or anything and I don't want to click anywhere else. I want to come up, I want to move my mouse pointer up a couple inches and then I'm going to place my top view with one mouse click. Now I can pull my mouse out and it's going to give a view, almost an isometric view. Um, and then I can pull my mouse out to the right hand side and I want to place my right side view. So I place it, and that's the three views that I want. I'm going to hit my escape key. So now I've terminated um, dropping views. Um, if I pick one of the views and I want to drag it down, notice how all of the lines are, are lining up. So this is how we actually would develop each of these drawings if we were having to do it by hand. I want to come grab my front view and notice how everything lines up all the way across the front. So we're just going to place them here. I want to show you how to put a few dimensions on it and then I want you to move forward with, with your particular drawing. So we want to come up and select Smart Dimension. Now we don't have to give this any type of dimensions. It's going to do it for us. So I'm going to zoom in by taking my middle scroll wheel and just rolling it to me, not grabbing it or panning it or anything else. So I want to select one mouse click and a second mouse click and it's 0.38, so I come down to, I come down to this and it is 0.38. So the next one is the one that's between here. So I come up to our sheet and we wanna pick here to here. Now I don't wanna just place my dimension on this dimension. So I'm gonna pull it out a little bit further. So we want some good space where somebody can actually read this. I come over to this left side, pick it. Notice it didn't grab right here. It just, if I pick the line, it grabbed the entire line. I want to place it down. So that was 1.75. Uh, this bottom line, I think it was 1.25. And now we're, how do we, how do we pick this radius? We just come up, we're still in the mouse. We're still in smart dimension. It usually grabs the right thing. I select that and I pull this down. Now I'm going to place it there for just a moment. Um, I hit escape a couple times. I don't like the way that my arrowhead is, so I'll pick the arrowhead and notice you have a couple nodes right here. I can pick this and it forces the arrow onto the other side. All right, so one thing if we roll out, we really can't position our paper. If you just hit the F button, that's going to fit it back to your screen. Very helpful. So now I'm, I don't have any commands, so I want to come back up and pick the smart dimension. I need to grab this line and this line, so 0.5, and then this vertical dimension was one and a half. Uh, the length of it was two. Uh, there was a height dimension here, I think it was a half. And then we have two radiuses that we can't really see in this particular view. We can see them, but we can see one here, and then we can see our third and final radius here. And with that being said, I just named mine one. So if you hit your save button, look what happens. It's automatically going to come up and it's going to name it for us. So this is part number one and it's the drawing. So I select it and we are now complete. 
So if you are turning this in in your learning management system, please do so, and I need both files. Thank you.